<laughs> I love these guys. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angelo Dawkins, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 232 pounds, the undisputed, prestigious NXT champion, Montez Hey, Corey, Ford. let me see your swag. Byron, I didn't think it was possible, but you saying what you just did somehow make Dawkins and Ford less cool. Can you imagine all three of us walking into a club, cutting a rug or two? I can. Byron, you're humiliating yourself. Look, I am in with the Street Profits. Angelo no, Dawkins... You're uh, not, Byron. You're making them less money right now. The Street Profits want nothing to do with you. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented. They're tough. And they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best-dressed guys in all of sports entertainment. And coming from me, that means something. Oh, no. Somebody hand me the tissues. Somebody get me a barf bag. And his opponent, accompanied by Maria Canellis from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Mike Canellis. Corey, you know, this couple, uh, it rivals some of the great couples in the world. Michael Cole, you hit the nail right on the head. We're talking Romeo and Juliet, Zach and Kelly. Not quite Triple H and Stephanie, but one of the greatest love stories have, that's ever been told. Have you completely lost your mind? I'm so sick of all this love nonsense, shoving it down our throats. Why, are you jealous? It's a beautiful story, Byron. They're happy. They <laughs> love each other. They're super successful. They just had a child. Everything is wonderful. I'm thinking about changing my last name to Canellis. Don't buy into this insanity. It's real talk, Byron. Wait, this is my favorite part. Here it comes! Oh my god, look at that stare! You can't recreate that! It's that is real it's, love! It's like a dime store romance novel. You both need help. It's like a Shakespearean novel, Cole. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe Ouch. we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. And I can't help but wonder how the champ's game plan differs, if at all, knowing that the title is not on the line here tonight. This might be it! Oh, my! Boom, what impact! What a stomp! Good grief! Axe handle finds its target. Oof. Ah, he's got that boot right up against oh, his face. Come on. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. How could they get away with that? That's not legal. Ooh, what is he looks a bit off his game here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. You see cover here. He got body on body there, but that's about it. You have to put in a little more work than that. Butter. Looks like he's starting to nice. sweat now. He came into this match expecting nice. to fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid it. This is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Beautiful technique. This is going to be big, one way or another. Look at this! 
Missile drop kick finds its mark. We got a cover. Mike Canales with the easy kick out. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Oh, nasty impact. Not so fast. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Ooh, right to the throat. Montez Ford quickly getting the shoulder up. Not yet. Too early. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. how this is going right now. Oh, man. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. At this point, they both look to be about evenly matched. Maybe I'd give him an edge, but not by much. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oof! He wants no part of the outside. Ah, stop in the leg! Just nasty. Sleeper slam! Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Close line! Right in the back of the neck. Oh boy, he is rolling. Ooh, Canella is just barely getting out of the way. Oh no. Mike Canales is at a resurgence is joining 205 Live. But early 2018 wasn't the best time for Maria's husband, especially when he lasted only three thunderous. That'll hinder your modeling career. This one's over, guys. These guys are giving it their all here tonight, not just to entertain the fans, but to all. He's looking for the win. And he got a near fall out of it. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. He's not going to like this. That Canales brings everyone to their feet. That should do it. Nobody gets up from that, Cole. Showing some quickness there. Drop kick! Oh, right in the back. Ooh, Canales just barely getting out of the way. Hey, hey, you're gonna get yourself disqualified. He's got the shoulders down. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. Look at him go. He ain't messing around. This was another great moment. And here's the last look at this one.
Here is your winner, Mike Kanellis. That was a big pinfall victory right there. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. And you shouldn't even be in the same arena as this man. Why not? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Palm Springs, Florida, Weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3! Look at the physique on EC3. This guy's got muscles in places most people don't even have places. Talk about an incredible story. A superstar who left WWE years ago, reinvented himself, got himself in the best shape of his life, to your point, Corey. And now he is back in, in his words, in the top 1%. Are you doubting him? I'm just repeating what he says. Corey, you got to realize Byron spent most of his life in the bottom 99. That's not true. The competition. <laughs> Descendants of Odin himself. A true destructive force in the tag team division. And his partners at a combined weight of 552 pounds. Hansen and Rowe. Rowan Hansen are two big, bad, scary dudes who have run roughshod over the tag team division. Yeah, two absolute wrecking balls who are thirsty for demolition. A terrifying blend of size, speed, power, and agility. There's basically nothing the War Raiders can't do in the ring. When you see these two behemoths walking towards you, a lot of people would argue the match is already over before the bell rings. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh man, Michael, six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s.
it's pretty cool seeing TJP here compared to what? And from Los Angeles, weighing in at 175 pounds, TJP. Byron, you strike me as the kind of guy who dabs a lot. Uh, from time to time. Yeah, you know who else does? My 10-year-old kid. It's oh, embarrassing. I mean, TJP's a grown man. Get in there and fight. Stop dancing. Stop posing. Stop reposting compliments on social media. It's a problem. It's a sickness. Okay, uh, well, your anger towards TJP aside, you got to give him his props, Corey. I mean, the guy was the first ever Cruiserweight champion. He basically anchored the rebirth of the Cruiserweight division. All right, I uh -huh. begrudgingly admit you're right on that. Ah, uh, yeah. High five. Sit down, Saxton. The soul of WWE's cruiserweight division. And their partner from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Guys, Cedric Alexander had one of the best matches in the Cruiserweight Classic a couple of years ago. It, it was so good, Triple H came out and applauded the man and then signed him to a WWE contract. You, know, you look at every superstar, and every superstar has their individual motivations. Well, for Cedric Alexander, it is simply to be a good role model for his young daughter to prove that as long as you put in the work, you can succeed at whatever you want to do. And we're underway Ouch. with six of WWE's top superstars going at it. Well, if this six-man match isn't trending at Ouch. some point over the next few minutes, there must be something wrong with the internet. Ring rattling! Fancy there. Oh, man, what a strike! Are we going to see the tag? And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Vicious strike. Harsh impact. Oh. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Gut buster! Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. Well, that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, 
But what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. This might be it! Oh my! Big time slam! Vicious! Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Since his arrival in WWE, Rowan and his partner Hanson have dominated the tag team scene. But guys, that really shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody who has followed his career before WWE. Boom, what impact! What a stomp! Good grief! Ooh! Ooh! Oh. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Following up on what Michael was saying about Rose's career prior to WWE, Rose spent years becoming a force not just in the United States, but in Japan as well. And he won championships at practically every stop along the way. But this is the big league now for Rowe, and believe me, complete domination won't be quite as easy as it may have in the past. Oh, clothesline! Powerbomb! Boom! <laughs> what a stomp! Good grief! Nailed it. Point of the elbow. Nailed it. Oh, incredible agility. Oof. All the way crashing down. Boom. What impact. Oh, nasty impact. Close line. Right in the back of the neck. You've got to believe this one's over. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Just wearing down the opponent. Harsh impact. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes is... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Ooh, what a strike. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Rather than continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. I'm not at all surprised to see him struggling a bit here. After all, the other team does feature arguably three of WWE's most imposing figures. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. This might be it! Oh my, what a stomp! Good grief! Missile drop kick finds its mark. What a stomp! Good grief! Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the Lunatic Fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh boy, he is rolling. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst... Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Bam, what a slam. Boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh what impact. Assault on the lower back. And Zagiri finds its mark. Big splash. He's on the defensive here. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. EC3 reemerged in 2018. Beautiful technique. But is it enough to end it? That kick will stop you in your tracks. Here he goes. Nasty impact. No doubt about that one. And the two of you were yammering about EC3. And he stops the count. Lucky him. 
He has something big planned. What a strike! Oh. Leg sweep. Nicely done. He's taking some offense. Oh. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. Yeah, but he's still in considerably better overall shape than his opponent right now. I mean, it seems to me like he still has plenty of fight left in him. Oh, the dreaded claw to the oh. shoulder, man. Ooh. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He's struggling a bit here. It appears his opponent has his number right now. Well, he's clearly not used to competing in a match like this, and it's starting to show. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, false count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Oh! Ooh-wee! This might be it! Oh, my! Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars have aligned things of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. Body on body. Wow. Oh, oh are you oh my God, kidding me? The back of his neck. What a stomp. Good grief. Running out of time here. Oh, come on, get in there. Eight. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the end. What a six-man tag match. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. He ain't playing here. Who could forget this? Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action. That's what happens when you can't answer the 10 count. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me.